All right, guys, we got a 17 Explorer customer wants a hitch installed, so there's plenty of videos out here like this. So uh, I'm just going to get right to the point for my subscribers. Some of you that are watching this video may find somebody explain something a little bit more better somewhere else. Uh, but this is my first one on the 17 model. I've done the newer ones, but uh, the 2021 is actually putting a class 3 hitch and stuff in it. I've not seen anybody else actually modify a factory bumper to install a class 3 hitch on those but there's plenty of these on these, these this body style so what i'm going to show you here is uh what i did on the other side is i took these 5.5 millimeter bolts out push clip pop the head of it off pull the body out 5.5 millimeter 5.5 millimeter 5.5 millimeter and then just grab this and pop it all the way up see down here I've already got this up pop this all the way back here you're gonna have to take that and pry that back out of the body that white clip right there because sometimes they get stuck and then you're gonna have to insert it back into this channel right here behind and then snap it all back in and then you just take your hand like behind this right here and start pulling and just real life and go do the same thing on the other side now I've pulled the bolts out for the lights and I'm going to pop the lights out because I think there's a screw back here. So what I did was I took this wiring harness and I actually unhooked it from the actual hook right here. And I just le lean it up with no stress. It's not pulling on the wires too bad. And there is. There's a Phillips push clip here so you're going to have to back this out. Sometimes you got to put something under there and pry while you're backing the Phillips out and then pull that out of there. And then you can come down here and get this one out. And then you can come over here. Here, same thing. Behind this light, same thing. And then work on this side and get this side apart as well. And then underneath, you're probably going to have a few screws. So let's get all this loose with it from what we can right now. So I popped it off all the way across now. I, I unhooked this right here from the little tab. I popped this all the way across the top. It's going to be hard to pop it. But anyway, over here, same thing. And now I'm going to lift it up in the air and get the couple screws that are underneath. All right, there's a, a bolt right there. There's a little bolt right there. You call it screw, whatever, bolt. And then I think we should be able to pull it off after that. I don't think it's attached to anything else. It might actually... Uh, I think that's it. It's just those two. That one right there and that one right there. They're 8 millimeters. Well, it's off now. It's just those two 8 mils on the bottom that we're holding it. Sometimes you'll get like little... Cra like a... Uh, It'll be side impact modules back here attached to the side that you have to be careful for. But this is not a loaded option. This is actually the 2.3 liter turbo or something Explorer. But the other one would be the same as well. The part number four. What is that? This is a class three hitch. It's a part number. JB5Z 17 Delta 826 Bravo. Basically, what you do is you're going to remove the hardware for this bracket. I think, yeah, that bracket is going to get removed. This bracket is going to, you're going to pull these bolts out here. Then you gotta pull the bolts out from the crash bar. And then you slide that thing in its place and re-put those bolts back in there, torque them all down, maybe a little Loctite, and then uh, hang your exhaust back on that. There's hangers for the exhaust. So let's go ahead and pull all this down right now and let it hang. I'm gonna take one of these big garbage cans right here and set up underneath the exhaust probably to hold it if it doesn't hold by itself. Or I'll put a couple of my bungee straps across it. Got the crash bar out. It was a 15 millimeter bolt and nut on both sides and then once I did that I went ahead and pushed the exhaust I sprayed them with some penetrating oil or silicone whatever you want I like penetrating oil because it really slicks that rust up better than uh, silicone does and I pushed it off this way and I used a pry bar to shove the grommet off the rest of the way same thing over here I pushed it and I used my pry bar to push can't do that while I'm recording or else I would have showed it to you guys and then underneath here, there's two 18 millimeter bolts. You can slide the exhaust to the side and get it with an impact. And then over here, there's an 18 there, and then there's two 18s underneath. 
now I'm going to take that hardware and reinstall with some Loctite. So it's a little tricky when you first put it up here. You got to get this part here, kind of start it underneath before all this starts to slide up, and then it'll sit down. I noticed there was two holes here covered up with aluminum tape, so I'm going to see if there's like a through bolt or something I can find back there, where maybe you remove the plastic back here to go in, or if it's like a self-cutting kind of thing, because if you look, the holes aren't threaded. So it makes it look like there's supposed to be a through bolt, which probably removing this plastic, I can get to it. We'll see. And then you just re-bolt everything back up. You know, there's a, put the 18 back in there where it goes, the two underneath, and rehang your hangers. And let's do that real quick. Put a little Loctite on everything. This feels like this is the right size going through there. Um, but there's no threads in it and there's no access on the inside. There's Those holes that are in there don't line up with this at all and there's no way of getting in there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and, and cut these bolts. I'm going to put a couple notches in there to make these bolts their own self-cutters and then run them through there. So I went over and threw a few cutting chamfers in there. I'm going to see if they actually run in. get it started probably chamfer the head of the bolt a little bit more it would have went in faster but it worked now I'm gonna do the other one clean everything up and put the bumper up there and see what happens here I got everything back together everything's bolted back up I'm gonna go uh, have them the porters and everything detail the back of it where I was working 
um, what I did was I pulled out that plastic center section and it's a pain in the ass because you got to come behind here and all those clips have slots that they clip right into you can see that open clip right here where my hands at and you you got to bend you got to pry open certain areas and stuff like that you got to pry some of these areas open to get them out you got to pop them out of there once you get them out of there it just basically folds right off so I went back through and I put everything back the way it goes put the lights and everything back in and I ordered this center section right here to actually fit the trailer hitch that comes specified uh, with trailer brake vehicles from the factory so I'm gonna get you the part number for that right now I forgot to pull it from the parts department but this is how you do it this is how you install everything so this is your class 3 hitch install on the Explorers let me go get that part number real quick okay so there's the cover you need it's a f boy 5 zebra 17 kilo 835 and then the hitch assembly like i said is a jb 5z 17 delta 826 bravo appreciate it guys that's uh, basically the install and then whenever the new piece comes in you just transfer that other part over um you would snap it into its slots and then you'd come under here and you would put some rivets in to hold the bottom you don't need me to show you how to do that you just go across rivet 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 and then over here on the side put a rivet right here put a rivet oh yeah by the way i drilled my own holes because this this part right here doesn't come threaded for a new one so i put two uh i put a 10 mil uh basically torque tech screw in there that has a cutting edge and then I put one right here next to it because they're not threaded and I didn't have clips for it. So I actually put my own in there that was a little bit bigger than the old factory ones for better. So this thing is not jarring back and forth. So yeah, that's it. Bless. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I got more good content coming.